All right. We did it. We did it. Let's, uh... Let's just go back to the home screen since there's not going to be actual credits rolling here. But we did it. That is the end. All right. First things first, the bottom center of our screen says that we have beaten 63 games in 2024 and 510 since we started doing this in 2020. Those name those numbers need to be updated finally. We've now beaten 64 games in 2024 and 511 since we started doing this in 2020. Let's go. All right, let's talk about the ups and downs of First Descendant. Um, I have to say, this game took me completely by surprise. I didn't even have it on my new release queue because I was just assuming I wasn't going to play it because it didn't look like a game that would have like a fleshed out campaign, especially as a free to play loot shooter. I wasn't expecting, I was expecting something like Warframe, which I think actually Warframe might have a campaign now, but when I first played it, I remember it didn't. Uh, or, uh, or at least it wasn't clear, like, that it would have a, a clear beginning, middle, and end. Or, um, something like Destiny, where maybe the, there's a, like, a campaign that's kind of always changing and different parts of it coming in and out. Uh, no. This doesn't have that. This has a very, well, the ending's a little murky, but it has, it has a very clear main quest line, and it is Beefy. It took, I don't know how many, at least 30 hours to beat it. At least 30. And I was sprinting through it. It is a huge campaign. And it was fantastic. I didn't spend a dime on this game from start to finish. And I got through all of the entire main quest line without having to pay any money. And I had a freaking blast. Uh, now, I do have to preface that by saying... Or qualify that by saying that I loot shooters are like one of my favorite genres ever. So uh, I'm going to love this a lot more than somebody who maybe doesn't love loot shooters as much. But if you love loot shooters, like it's really good, man. The loot is real. The loot grind is really good. The, the gear progression and the level progression and the different options for um, characters and all that stuff is well, very well thought out. Well done. The the uh, combat is excellent, man. The skills are great. The, the gunplay is excellent. The boss fights are tough. The mission structures are varied and very creative. And they do a very good job of keeping things fresh. It's pretty much everything you would want in a looter shooter. The, the gear is... Um, like the weapons especially were a little bit less interesting, but it's very clear that they're trying to save some stuff for endgame. Like I never got an ultimate, which is the equivalent of a legendary in this game. I never got an ultimate weapon, never once. I got ultimate other things, other pieces of gear, but I never got an ultimate weapon. So they're probably saving that or it's part of crafting or something. I know you can craft them. Actually, that's not true. I did craft a couple as part of like a mission. Um... But I never got a drop of a, an ultimate weapon. So maybe, I don't know, maybe it doesn't exist. But any, anyway, all the gu the combat, the skills, the boss fights, the, the, the missions, all that stuff was on point. It is very, very well done. This feels like a, a loot shooter that could, that has legs. Like it could survive and do well, like a Destiny or like a, you know, uh, uh, one of those kinds of games. There's not really very many that really, really stick the landing out the gate even destiny was horrible at launch uh, and it had very little content this game has a huge amount of content and i didn't do any of the optional stuff well i did very very little only when i needed to grind out a level or two and it was i mean there was i there was so much there's so much to do just in the campaign there's so much content and they do a good job of keeping it fresh man and the 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 main boss fights, which are called Colossus boss fights, are some of the most intense boss fights I've fought this year, period, in any game. Um, so overall, I was incredibly impressed with this game, especially considering I didn't pay a dime for it. Um, as far as critiques, I, there are a couple of things. Number one, the bugs are horrible. Um, I mean, well, so the bugs in game aren't so bad, but there are some 
crashing and network issues that were they were really bad. They, the game was unplayable for the first two days. Uh, you, I couldn't even get in, and wh- which is understandable with a game like this that they were going to have server issues. But then, even a week after, with, the game's been out for nine days at this point. I can't believe it took me that long to beat a game. <laughs> uh, it's been out for nine days, and I'm still like getting thrown out of the game, like at crucial points. Uh, the game's just completely crashing. I can't connect because of server errors. There have been several times. Part of what's taken this game so long is there will be times that I get all my OBS and all my stuff, my lights and everything set up, and then I just can't play because it just won't connect. Uh, there were also bugs in in the game, in the missions themselves, where uh, I got something in my eye, uh, where there would uh, it would think that there was an enemy still alive, but there wasn't. And so you just couldn't progress in the mission. And so you'd have to start the whole mission over, lose half an hour of progress. And some of the missions are long, especially toward the end. So that was horrible. I, I wasted, I was saying this earlier in this recording, that I wasted hours and hours. This game wasted hours and hours of my time between not being able to connect, be getting booted out, the game crashing entirely, bugs making missions unbeatable, all that stuff. It was bad. It was bad. Now, that will undoubtedly get better as the game goes on. It's already much, much better than it was at, at on launch day. Um, but it did affect my enjoyment level. I, I, the game wasted a lot of my time. Uh, there are some points of this game where it's really grindy, um, but not in the way that you would think. There are... There are um, there, I hit a I hit a wall about halfway through this game where I was afraid that I was not going to be able to move forward. And usually when you have a problem like that in a game like this, you assume like, oh, well, if you throw 50 bucks at it, I, that, like, that'll fix the problem. I honestly was considering paying money to keep from... Because, you know, games will do that where it's like, oh, the game's going to be really hard now and you're going to have to grind a whole lot. Unless you pay 20 bucks and then you get this character, you get this extra level or whatever. And then suddenly the game's a lot more manageable. Like, that's how a lot of these games are designed. But honestly, there's a point in this game that you can't even... I don't even know what I could buy. Because you can you can buy characters, but then you got to level them up. And the only way to really level characters up is to go do missions. You can't really spend money to level thing. You can't spend money to level a character up, as far as I could tell. Uh, and the wall that I hit was because I was max. I was max level, so that wasn't the issue. But my gear didn't have some of the right stats on them. And I wasn't paying a lot of attention to that until I had to. And there's a certain point about halfway through, through through this game where I just had to. Now I need to look at my elemental resistances. I need to see my elemental damage on my weapons. I need to check all of my little modules to make sure that I'm getting all the best perks and I'm min-maxing certain things. Like, you really had to get into that at a certain point, uh, which I'm not particularly good at. And the thing is, once I realized what I needed to do, the solution was that I needed gear with different elemental resistances. I needed weapons with different elemental attacks. And the only way to get that is to just go out and do more missions. So there was a time where I just had to stop playing the main quest and I just go out and grind the missions out that I've already beaten and grind them over and over to farm gear so that I could get until I got something with the right elemental resistance. Now, if I had understood that and taken it more seriously from the jump, I wouldn't have had that problem, right? But because I didn't, um, I did hit a wall. But it wasn't a wall I could pay to defeat. It was a wall I needed to grind regardless. The the money that you can spend on this game is to uh, speed up research, which is like research takes like a few hours. I never really actually researched something I actually needed, never once. But you, if you want more to unlock more of the characters, because there's a bunch of really cool characters with really cool abilities, and some of them have elemental attacks that are really good for certain bosses and stuff. If, but if you want that, you, you're gonna you either going to have to grind out a bunch of stuff, or you're going to have to pay a lot. Well, that's not true. You could probably get by with paying like seven or eight bucks and unlocking certain characters. I never ended up needing to do it, though. Um... The ultimate ones were like a hundred bucks, uh, and so uh, I, I I was 
thinking about unlocking one of those until I saw how much it was going to cost. And I was like, okay, forget that. I'm not paying. I'm, I don't mind spending a little bit of money on a game like this, especially considering how much I enjoy it. But I'm not going to spend a hundred dollars on a single character when I don't even know if that's going to fix my problem. So, so there was a wall in this game, but it's not a wall that I could complete by paying money. It's something I had to complete by getting good at the game, which you could look at that multiple ways. Uh, one, maybe that wall shouldn't be there at all. But on the other hand, at least it's not a paywall. <laughs> not really. Um, what really is going to cost money is if you want to unlock all of the characters and you don't want to have to take all the time to do it, which I don't even understand the allure of that personally. I would that's the that's the grind. Why would you want to pay to get rid of the grind? Like the grind is the game, right? But I do understand that there are people that that would prefer to just have the ultimate character without having to grind out all the research components to get them or whatever. I get it. I get it. Uh, but it's just not me. Um, other than that, uh, the um, the uh, only other. I mean. As far as problems go, so the bugs were a big deal, um, and then just uh, just not understanding how to progress at certain points. But I eventually learned. I eventually learned. I had to look a lot. Of, uh, there, here's another complaint: the game doesn't explain much. I, as far as like what different perks on guns were, how I need to upgrade certain things, how different levels and in, in certain categories work, the game doesn't tell you much. I had to Google a lot of shit in this game. The tutorials did very little, and they just don't explain a lot. So that's a little bit of a complaint. But overall, man, I had a blast with this game. This game is going to rank extremely high. Top 100 for sure. Almost certainly. Um, and I didn't pay a dime for it. Not a dime. I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, again, I'm a big loot shooter fan, so if you're not that big of a loot shooter fan, you might not enjoy it as much as I did. But, the, I mean, the game, the main c c campaign took forever. <laughs> it was a long, long game. I couldn't believe how long it is, considering it's a free-to-play, and, and that I I never really had a point where I was really compelled to spend any money. Uh, so, overall, I really, really did enjoy it. All right, that's, uh, that's it. Last order of business. Um... First Descendant, it's been... You know what? Actually, I'm not going to delete it. I might actually play this game more. And if I do, it'll be off recording. But I'm not going to delete it. I'm going to keep it. So we'll just say adieu for now. Thank you, First Descendant. I really enjoyed you. Maybe I'll see you again off recording. Just me and you in private.